Hey guys, my name's Dan, and today's reaction comes from Nuke's Top 5. This is Top 10 Scary Ghost Moves That Make You Spell Badly. And I'm so very, very happy to be back after my long break, and what better video to get into after everything that I've been through than this one right here, so this should be a lot of fun. But before we get into it, please go over and check out all these links that are the best way to support me, along with going over and checking out the Nuke's Top 5 channel if you haven't already. And lastly, the best free way to support me is by going right below this video and clicking all those buttons down there because not only does it let you see future reactions that I do but also helps my channel to grow and without any further ado let's go when bad things come to those who wait this next mysterious video was shared to the internet without a source the footage appears to have been recorded by a CCTV camera inside a restaurant while the staff is finishing up work and cleaning up for the night what happens next is shocking what do we got going on here? Oh. oh! I guess somebody wanted to do some extra cleaning. Maybe one more staff member. Oh! Oh. Oh, that's another person, my bad. and a bucket can be seen sliding across the restaurant floor Help? by itself. But most horrifying of all, some kind of invisible force violently grabs the waitress by her hair and pulls her backwards out of frame. Ugh. Now, without a source, we don't know what happened next. But I'm imagining lots of screaming and running. I know I'd be doing lots of screaming and running. Oh, dear. A couple of young hunters are out scouting the countryside for deer. They search and film through a camera with a long-range lens, when suddenly the hunter catches something that is just weird. Respond while we're watching them. All right. How do you Look, track them? There's two more black dots. Right Cody, how do you turn oh, the phone? Uh, you see that? Oh, what the crap? Is that a guy? Looks like it's some guy. What the frick? What the frick? <laughs> what was that? Skinwalker. He's walking creepy. Dude, that was a skinwalker. What? Follow him. Follow I videoed him. it. I videoed it. <laughs> what the frick? I'm so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got nothing. That was a skinwalker. No. Even in the distance and with the bad video quality, it is obvious that some strange, large, misshapen figure seems to be chasing the deer and running at an inhumanly fast speed. The yeah, unidentified weird. figure looks humanoid in shape, but appears to run on all fours like an animal. The guys are confused and laugh it off, but are baffled by what they just captured. The hunters still have no idea what they filmed to this day. Me either. Through the eyes of a child. Early one evening in Louisiana, Mallory Weber is taking a fun video of her son Cashton when something unexpected happens that absolutely chills her. What you doing? What you looking at? What you see? Dear Bubba. What? Bubba. Huh? What do you see? Hi. Say uh -uh. Papa? Who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. The little boy appears to huh. see someone standing inside Mallory's bedroom. Someone he calls Paw Paw. Freaked out by his behavior, Mallory quickly walks over to the bedroom to look inside, but there's no one there. Baffled by what just happened, she posts her video to TikTok where it quickly spreads and is watched by millions. Her comment section is flooded with questions, so she decides to answer a few in two more videos. There's really not much of a bad story, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just videoing him being cute and saying cheese and then that happened. Um. Never happened before. Both his grandpas are still alive. Okay. It's my grandpa and my husband's grandpa that both passed away like a year ago. Um, oh. He did meet both of them. 
Uh, they never lived in my house before. That bedroom was me and my husband's bedroom. Oh. I'm trying to think of all the questions because I want to answer all y'all. Um, I don't know. That's about it. This never happened before, so that's why I was telling him to stop and that it was freaking me out because I didn't know how to respond. It never fair. happened and it was freaking me out. Uh, but that's fair. about it. Who's Papa? Um, Papa could be my grandpa or my husband's grandpa because they both passed the same year. Um, both of my son's grandpas are both alive. I don't know if you'd call them grandpas. Papa's grandfather, I don't know, but we call them Papa. Oh. That's how they are down here. That's okay. We well, that makes more sense. I hope that answered your question. I don't know. So, could it be that the boy saw the spirit of one of his parents' grandfathers? Or what do you think is going on here? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> In another video, this time from Georgia, proud mother Christy is home alone with her two year old son Levi when he too sees something that his mother just can't see. Where's your favorite place to go? Yeah, he's looking at something. What do you see? I see something behind. Something that's see hiding? Something behind. Oh, behind. You see what? A bad thing. A bad thing? A bad thing. What does it look like? A uh, cool. A ghost? A go it is one. No, no, there's no ghosts. No ghosts here, ghosts be gone. I wanna see a hunter. That's fair. Uh, mommy, clean my room. It's not scary in my room. It's not scary in your room? Mm -hmm. Well, you need to stop acting weird. It's scary here. It's not scary in here. I saw everything floating in the house. Floating? There's a scary thing floating. <laughs> Where? What is this kid saying? Uh, baby, there's nothing there. Yes, it is. No, there's not. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. <laughs> Little he's Levi appears to it. see something that he describes to be a, quote, bad thing. A, quote, ghost. And a, quote, scary floating thing. He urges his mother to go to his room where, in his words, it's not scary. After the shock wears off a little, Christy seems to kind of believe him, and she follows her son into his room. Look, it's kind of scary in my room. Try to go in mommy in my room. Think it's scary. Oh, clean my room. Uh, mommy, call it me. Okay. I don't know. I feel like you look more worried if he was actually scared, but I. I mean, he's a kid, so why would he lie? It's nothing scary. Nothing scary. Now, it's worth mentioning that Christy's TikTok page is completely dedicated to cute videos of her son but none of them have anything to do with the paranormal, except these two. So could little Levi really be seeing a ghost? Something that's scary enough for him to warn his mother and guide her to safety? Not a clue. Let me know what you think. Not a clue. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Inheritance. This next TikTok user might seem familiar to you as we've featured the beginning of his story on Nuke's Top 5 before. Now Jacob says that he inherited his grandmother's house after she passed away and he now lives in the old home. While cleaning out his grandmother's belongings, he finds a creepy old antique jester doll. Oh, cool. Jacob feels eerily drawn to the strange doll and decides to keep it, sitting it on top of a bureau in his bedroom. It was a very bad idea. Figured it would be. One night, Jacob is woken up by the sound of knocking coming from his bedroom closet. Cool. Like, just, just like looking at this, seeing that, when I wake up, like, why would you do that to yourself? I just heard knocking from the closet.
there. Oh, God. I think I forgot about this one. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, boy. Soon after posting this horrifying video, Jacob just sort of disappeared from the internet. Now it's nearly seven months later, and Jacob is back. He says he's been busy slowly renovating the house and has now moved the Jester doll into its own room. Jacob says that for seven months, nothing really happened. But then late one night, Jacob is again woken up by a strange sound. What happens next is chilling. Right, here we go. I just heard banging. that noise. Oh, it's looking at me! Oh, no! No! It appears loud banging coming from the room next to his. Oh, the no! Room where he keeps the jester doll. He gets up to investigate but finds nothing out of the ordinary. But then he hears loud footsteps coming up the staircase right behind him door to the doll's room slowly swings open and when he turns around the doll now seems to be staring at him. Jacob's absolutely freaked out and decides to move the doll once again but this time he leaves it all the way down in the basement. After everything that's happened he decides to buy a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy doll. Oh okay. And that might have been a mistake because just days after putting the gesture doll down in the basement Things start to happen that are absolutely terrifying. Let's see what we got then. What was that? Hello? Oh, I just get chills just looking at the thing. I hate every bit of Strange this. Strange shadows can be seen moving around the creepy doll, and TikTok viewers swear that they can see one of the doll's eyes moving. But that's not all that Jacob's security camera captures. What happens next is pure nightmare fuel. Okay. Okay, there goes the light too. All right, awesome. Oh! The doll's arm moves by itself just before the basement light bulb shatters. 
And Have you guys ever played that horror game where you're chased around uh, the house uh, by dolls and you have to do like different things to get past them? That's what I feel like is happening here. In a later video, the camera is pushed over without explanation. Jacob now believes he might have inherited a seriously haunted house and doll, and is getting increasingly more freaked out as each night passes. He doesn't want the doll anywhere near him and will continue to keep it in the basement. You can follow Jacob's paranormal captures over on his TikTok page, The Clown Doll 5. I may have to. What waits below? Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations explore the Kelvin and Hatch nuclear bunker in England. In the early 1950s, the bunker was built 125 feet underground and was intended to be the center of operations for the UK if there was ever a nuclear attack. The entrance to the massive structure is hidden inside an otherwise very normal looking cottage in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by woods. Visitors and staff have often reported seeing multiple apparitions inside the bunker walls. An old lady is often seen wandering the hallways. A female Royal Air Force officer in uniform is said to appear and shout at visitors to get out. And finally, a male officer known as Charles allegedly wanders the areas on the second floor. The bunker was decommissioned in 1992 and is now a museum. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team plans to spend the entire night underground in the bunker as they attempt to capture evidence of the alleged ghostly sightings. Now the Kelvin Bunker has three levels, and the investigators find themselves on the top floor passing through the dormitories. On a previous investigation of the Kelvin Hatch nuclear bunker, Lead investigator Jeff says that he experienced a completely unnerving paranormal experience in this very room. Oh! Up to you, Jeff. You all right? What the hell was that? I made you jump. I got touched on my arm. In there. Right next. Anything. Hello? Hello? Did you just touch me? And now, years later, Jeff and his team are back again, alone inside the same dormitory room and in pitch black darkness once again. The guys do their investigation and then decide to leave the dorms, but it did not go well. We finished the session in the dormitories, and as we try to leave, the door will not open as if it's been held from the other side. I try to open the door, pulling as hard as I can, but the door will not open. Who's holding that door? Can we come out, please? We want to come out now. Thank you. Oh! How oh, nice. That's pretty weird. Well, at least whatever it was let him out. There's nothing wrong with that door now. The dormitory exit door seems to be held shut by some unknown force. But then, after a polite request, it suddenly just opens with ease. Jeff says that it felt like someone was holding the door shut on the other side. Now, this is where things take a very creepy turn. After a long night of investigating, the team heads off to bed. 
Bill is preparing to lay down inside the dormitories when, unbeknownst to him, their static camera captures something chilling. Phil arranges his bed. There is no one else on this level at this time. And as he climbs into his bunk bed, a figure which moves at great speed passes the window at the far end. You can see the dark hair and a white oh. shirt as it passes by. An unknown figure passes by the same door that was held shut by something earlier. The Ghost Tech team says that no one else was on this floor at this time and the entrance to the bunker was locked shut. Also, it goes without saying that this small dark haired figure certainly doesn't look like any of the Ghost Tech team. So just who or what is this? You can watch this investigation with even more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal yeah, Investigations. Misfire. Nuke's top five viewer, Luke Hosea, reached out to me about a very strange event that took place in broad daylight on the street in front of his home in Leicestershire, England. The spooky and baffling moment was caught by his family's CCTV camera. It's not showing anything. I mean, oh. It's not a very clear picture because his light's quite shiny. A bizarre bright light that resembles fire seems to appear out of nowhere behind the cars. Luke says that neither he or his family have any idea what these strange fireballs could be. There are no electrical lines and no telephone lines running above this particular area. Huh. So I leave it up to you. What do you think this strange ball of light is? Maybe I'm someone that in, the, in their room like lit a match or something? Maybe that that's just a reflection of it? That kind of looks like a candle maybe? I'm stumped, I don't know. so let me know. The Waving Woman. Paranormal investigators Pete and Dan from the YouTube channel Night Watchers Paranormal Australia set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Mapleton Cemetery in Australia. The story goes that over the years many people have witnessed the eerie apparition of a woman crossing the road next to the cemetery. They say that the mysterious woman waved at them and then seemed to disappear right before their eyes. Dan and Pete begin their investigation by setting up two static cameras one recording in night vision mode. As the investigators are still deploying several motion sensors around the graveyard, their night vision camera captures something truly bizarre. Okay, that's them too, okay. Let's see what else we can pick up here. Bug. Yeah, I see a little something. Oh, yep, there it was. what the hell that is. That's a better look. A dark shadow-like figure can be seen quickly darting from right to left across the cemetery grounds. Now whatever it is, the figure is dense enough that it actually blocks out the light of Pete and Dan's flashlight as it passes right behind them. The two investigators don't hear or see anything at the time, and they only discover what they captured later when reviewing their footage. So could it be that the mysterious waving woman made an appearance? Maybe. Or let me know what you think this is. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Night Watchers Paranormal Australia, okay. Danvers State Hospital. So these next two videos were posted to YouTube a long time ago and nothing in either video was intended to show anything supernatural. In fact, both videos were posted by urban explorers who have never posted a single paranormal video ever. But some sharp-eyed Nukes Top 5 viewers watched these videos and noticed something strange that was missed. The first video was sent in by Nukes Top 5 viewer Macy Asher. 
The video was recorded way back in 2003 by a guy named Dave who was filming inside the infamous old Denver State Hospital. The Denver's Hospital was an insane asylum built back in 1874. Eventually, it was discovered that patients were being subjected to horrible treatment and abuse at the hands of the hospital staff. That's terrible. Denver State Hospital was closed and abandoned in the 1990s. It goes without saying that the huge empty structure was said to be extremely haunted. So Dave is exploring the basement while recording everything on an old analog camcorder. Dave doesn't know it, but he captures something truly bizarre. Did you see it? No. A dark figure can be seen moving inside a doorway. Now Dave has never said that what was captured huh. was anything paranormal. In fact, he's never even saw the figure and the footage is over 20 years old. But a watchful Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted this creepy figure and I'm not sure what it is. Me either. Could it be that Dave accidentally captured the spirit of a Danvers Hospital patient? We'll never know. No. Because Danvers Hospital was torn down in 2007 and replaced by luxury apartments. Seems like a scary place to live. Yeah. I'd School say so. Spirit. This next video was sent in by Nuke Stop 5 viewer Ethan Sheely, who together with his brother used to explore abandoned places in North Carolina and upload their footage to YouTube. But since then, Ethan has moved away from home, so no more exploring. One night, Ethan is feeling a bit nostalgic about the old explorations with his brother and takes a look back at their old videos. In a video where he is exploring an abandoned 1950s middle school, he spots something that he had never noticed before. What's that? Did you see it? At the end of a hallway, a dark figure can be seen stepping out of a doorway oh. and then disappearing right back inside. Sure can. Ethan explains that he and his brother explored every single inch of the building that day, and they didn't find any squatters or homeless people in the building. So he has no idea who or what this could be. Me either. Hell's Kitchen. This next spooky video from Krugersdorp, South Africa was shared to Reddit by user PuzzleHeadedSnow23. The footage shows a woman taking a tour through an empty apartment, recording each room as she goes. But it seems that there might be something else inside the apartment with her. Oh, cool. Hello? Oh, what the hell was that? And she didn't see a thing. Did you see it? Mm hmm. An unidentified figure can be seen walking through a door and just passing through the kitchen. Reddit user PuzzleHutted Snow23 claims that the filmer didn't notice whoever or whatever this is. So is this strange footage proof of the paranormal? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I Thanks so have much no for idea. watching. Maybe they're trying to attract people to live there by attracting people who are into that sort of thing, but I don't know. I don't really buy that. I think maybe there's something deeper going on there and the scariest thing about all of these videos just for me again that freaking jester doll th those things were always creep me out especially whenever they were looking right at the camera uh, that just sends me shivers down my spine and that's gonna do it for me here so please comment down below let me know what you thought about this nukes top five video please do check out all these links there are best ways 
to support me and a great free way to support me is by going right below this video clicking all those buttons down there and lastly i do want to give a shout out to all of my five dollar and up supporters on patreon luchador cruising world War 310 jordan bird kefter Cronich, amber k raymond bright chris curtis sahan abdul farouk sorry if i'm mispronouncing that and ann perry and i will see you guys next time